Exploring the 1963 film from Russia with love reveals a trove of interesting facts and stories. The behind the scenes details include a risky helicopter stunt and a surprising fact about the attaché case, it was an actual product sold after the movie. Some moments are funny, others shocking, and some even sad. Did you know about these lesser known aspects? Share your own stories or memories related to from Russia with love in the comments below. Stay tuned for more facts, and remember to let us know your experiences. In the realm of classic spy flicks, one standout shines brighter than the rest. It's a tale of intrigue, action, and espionage that keeps you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. In this movie, he's back with a vengeance, suave and deadly as ever. He's tasked with a mission that could change the course of history, navigating through a labyrinth of deception and danger to emerge victorious. Along the way, he encounters allies and adversaries alike, each adding their own flavor to the mix. From the enigmatic double agent to the suave assassin, every character leaves their mark on the story, creating a tapestry of suspense and excitement. With exotic locales, heart-pounding action sequences, and a plot that keeps you guessing until the very end, this movie has it all. It's a classic in every sense of the word, and a must-watch for any fan of the genre. So, if you're in the mood for a thrilling adventure that will keep you glued to the screen, look no further than this gem from the golden age of cinema. The production of the movie faced significant challenges, leading to issues with matching film scenes to the rewritten script. This resulted in delays and exceeded budgets. However, editor Peter R. Hunt's innovative techniques saved the film. In the opening titles, Martin Basic is mistakenly listed as Martin Basic. The garden setting in the opening sequence was inspired by a lush garden setting in the film last year at Marionbad. It was recreated at Pinewood Studios by director Terence Young. These elements contributed to the unique charm of the film, despite its troubled production history. In the opening chess match, Kronstein wins using a reenactment of Boris Spassky's victory over David Bronstein. Sid Kane created the set for the sequence, emphasizing the chess pawn motif. Martin Basic holds the distinction of appearing in two Bond films as different characters a gypsy girl in from Russia with love and Paula Caitlin in Thunderball. Ian Fleming's novel was inspired by a real-life event in 1950 when a U.S. naval attaché was assassinated on the Orient Express by a communist agent. Fleming's own experiences at an Interpol conference in Istanbul provided the setting, while the Paris with Love provided the title. Starting a career in the film industry often involves unexpected beginnings. Sean Connery, well known for his memorable role, had a unique start after leaving the Merchant Navy. He worked as a model for art students in Edinburgh, even posing nude. Bernard Lee, another familiar face in movies, worked on several films alongside Jeffrey Keane. They collaborated on 10 different movies, including well-known ones like The Third Man and Sink the Bismarck. In recognition of his long and successful career, Sean Connery was honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the European Film Awards in Berlin. This award was presented by Jean Jacques Onahud, who directed The Name of the Rose, a film Connery had a significant role in. These insights into the actors' backgrounds offer a glimpse into the diverse paths that led them to the world of cinema. In this film, producers Albert R. Broccoli and Harry Saltzman aimed to shift away from a Cold War narrative by introducing the fictitious criminal organization SPECT. As James Bond's primary adversary, seeking vengeance for the demise of their operative, Dr. No. Lois Maxwell, appearing in several Bond films, collaborated with Jeffrey Keane on six occasions, including Scotland Yard Inspector, The Spy Who Loved Me, Moonraker, For Your Eyes Only, Octopussy, and A View to a Kill. Sean Connery, known for his portrayal of James Bond, shared the screen with Denholm Elliott in four films, including Robin and Marion, A Bridge Too Far, Cuba, and Indiana Jones, and The Last Crusade. Sean Connery received the American Film Institute's Lifetime Achievement Award in June 2006. He was praised by his co-star Harrison Ford, who credited him for his global impact. Lot Lenya, entombed alongside Kurt Weill, rests at Mount Repose Cemetery in Haverstraw, New York. The periscope scene, featuring Bond and Karen Bay spying on the Russian embassy, utilized a dummy wooden periscope crafted by Barr and Stroud. This ingenious substitution added authenticity to the film's espionage narrative. In a recent interview, the producer of a famous spy movie shared his top three favorite James Bond films. One of them, released in 1963, is known for its thrilling action-packed scenes. The main actress, Daniela Bianchi, landed her role after beating out more than 200 other hopefuls. Some notable contenders included Tanya Mallet, who later appeared in Goldfinger, Elga Anderson, Pia Lindstrom, Magda Konopka, and Silva Kasana. 
Lutlinia, who played a significant role in the James Bond series, had her influence extend to Broadway in 2007. A musical called Love Music explored her relationship with Weil, with Donna Murphy portraying Linya on stage. These insights into the casting process and the impact of key figures like Broccoli and Linya shed light on the making of James Bond movies. In the past, a movie brought together a cast with interesting connections. A certain actor, recognized for his memorable roles, shared similarities with his son. Both of them played roles in different versions of the same character, showcasing their family legacy in the industry. Another actor, known for his role in a popular spy series, had the unique privilege of working alongside multiple actors who portrayed the same iconic character. Before he passed away, he shared his thoughts on which actor best embodied the original vision of the character's creator. The opening scene of the movie was set in a historic country house, which served various purposes within the studio where the film was made. This house and its surroundings were also featured in other notable productions, adding to its cinematic history. During filming, there was an accident when Daniela Bianchi's driver fell asleep, causing a car crash. Bianchi got some bruises on her face, which postponed shooting her scenes for two weeks while she recovered. The famous building where James Bond meets Tatyana was originally a church, then turned into a mosque, and later became a museum. In this movie, the bad guy's headquarters is shown as the main office of Pinewood Studios. All these details make the movie more real and exciting. Pedro Armendariz, known for his role as Karim Bey in the movie From Russia with Love, was not the only member of his family to grace the world of James Bond. His son, Pedro Armendariz Jr., also made an appearance in the franchise, portraying President Hector Lopez in License to Kill. The character Ernst Stavro Blofeld, the infamous Bond villain, drew inspiration from Jules Verne's Captain Nemo, as revealed in the book James Bond A Celebration by Peter Haining. Originally intended for a different film, Blofeld's roots trace back to the hate-fueled revel of Jules Verne's classic novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. In the opening scenes of the movie, viewers catch a glimpse of a Russian helicopter, specifically a Hiller A-12, also known as the O-23 Raven. Vladik Shabel, a respected Polish actor, initially hesitated to join the cast of a Bond movie, fearing it might harm his career. However, his friend Sean Connery convinced him to take the role, ultimately boosting Shabel's career significantly. In a notable helicopter sequence towards the movie's conclusion, an inexperienced pilot flew too close to Sir Sean Connery, putting him in jeopardy. Originally planned to be filmed in Istanbul, the helicopter and boat scenes were relocated to Scotland. The sea's turbulent waves prevented the speedboats from achieving the necessary speed, leading to the sinking of a boat loaded with cameras in the Bosphorus. Additionally, obtaining a helicopter proved challenging, and the special effects crew faced potential arrest while trying to secure one at a local airbase. These behind-the-scenes challenges provide a glimpse into the complexities faced during the production of this iconic film, showcasing both the risks and ingenuity involved in bringing it to life.